With your CIG TV News update for this Monday, I'm Donna Bush. Contestant number seven, Caitlin Tyson. Tyson. 24-year-old model and actress, Caitlin Tyson was crowned Miss Cayman Islands Universe 2018 before an enthusiastic crowd at the Westin on Saturday night. Ms. Tyson also walked away with the Best Smile and People's Choice Awards. First runner-up, Josani Schneider, bagged the Best in Gown Award. And second runner-up is Tiffany Connolly. While Vanessa Douglas won the Congeniality Award and Natisha Foster walked away with the Best Legs and Photogenic Awards. Rounding out the seven contestants were Gabrielle Watler and Kaylin Jackson. The new Miss Cayman Islands Universe will compete in the Miss Universe pageant being held in Bangkok, Thailand in December. We say congratulations to Ms. Tyson. On Friday morning, dozens of unemployed Caymanians showed up at the Lion Center to get registered for the first NICE summer project, funded and administered by the Ministry of Commerce, Planning and Infrastructure and the Ministry of Health, Environment and Culture. The program will provide cleanup work throughout the districts. Minister for Com Commerce, Planning and Infrastructure, the Honorable Joseph Hugh, had this to say about the project, which falls under his ministry. The idea here is to afford persons who are unemployed an opportunity for short-term employment at the end of the summer to assist them with their back-to-school expenses and to assist the country in preparing us for the peak of the hurricane season and what we know will be a very, very busy tourism season coming up. As Mr. Hugh just said, it is hoped that eligible participants will get the training, experience and reference uh, to pursue full-time work. The applicants who were categorized as first-time Caymanians, returning Caymanians, or spouses of Caymanians listened to questions uh, or listened to orientation and health and safety presentations, rather, and took part in a question and answer session before registering. Georgetown Central MLA Mr. Kenneth Bryan explained to various news crews that he encouraged residents in his area to go out and apply for the jobs. Today is a bit of a, a bittersweet situation because um, it's good to see that a lot of Caymanians have come out to take advantage of this opportunity that the government has offered to them. But sadly, this is twice a year now rather than once a year. And it gives me an indication that we're going in the wrong direction in respect to helping these individuals. Um, hopefully, we were expecting that with the way the economy is going right now, that we'd actually have to do this less rather than more. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that, that people are getting the chance. This morning I've been bringing all my constituents here to try to get, make sure that they get assistance for those who are not working. Um, so unfortunately the numbers look almost the same as they did last year, but thankfully they'll get an opportunity to get two weeks of work. And depending on the numbers of those registered, applicants will be given either one or two weeks work starting next Monday. Well, the Ministry of Education and Department of Education Services is informing parents and guardians of students who attend government schools' upcoming orientation dates for the 2018-2019 school year. Let's take a look at the list. For this list of orientation and start dates for all government schools in the Cayman Islands, you can go online to Cayman Island, the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page um, online. For a full look at a weekly schedule of shows here on CIG Television, you can go online to gis.gov.ky and click on the publications link at the bottom of the home page. If you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. With your CIG TV news update, I'm Donna Bush for this Monday evening. Wishing you a wonderful and safe night and hoping you'll join me back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.
Did you know that planning permission is required for a shed? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know planning permission is required to clear land by mechanical means? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Boating, fishing and water sports in the Cayman Islands are great, but keep a cool head. Here are seven tips for fun and safe sea outings. Number one, use a checklist to plan your outing. Check the weather forecast, make a float plan and share it with someone who is remaining on land stating where you're going, with whom, and when you're expected to return. Visit your nearest marine supply store to get your safety gear. This includes signaling mirrors, whistles, and a flare kit. It's also very important to have onboard flotation devices and life vests for each person. There are different types of vests. Some are for water sport activities, such as snorkeling, and others are for going on offshore boating or on fishing trips. Number two, these items can be lifesavers in case of an accident or bad weather. Number three, use a motor kill switch, especially if you're boating alone. In case of a leak or breakdown, always stay with the boat until help arrives. If you capsize, an emergency beacon or locator device can send a distress signal to inform the authorities of your location. Larger flares will indicate distress to a boat, airplane, or search and rescue officials. Number four. In addition to sunscreen, food, and beverages, it would be smart to have a cell phone. Make sure your marine radio works. Cayman's boaters use channel 16 to communicate. Number five. Also, don't forget your anchor and sufficient rope. Number six. Boat operators should be familiar with the local waters and reefs, as well as the capabilities and functions of the vessels they are using. Always obey the rules of the sea and the marine environment and have courtesy for others. Number seven, alcohol and salt water do not mix, especially if you're the captain. Some useful contact numbers are 911. The RCIPS Marine Base is 649-7710 and the Port Authority is 949-2055. Smooth sailing, all! Did you know that planning permission is required for an addition, alteration, or any material change to your house? The 10% rule no longer exists. Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required?